Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. The goodness of buttermilk and chicken together create one of the most popular chicken dishes in the world. Well, you guys should try it. I am making buttermilk fried chicken. Hey guys, it's the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. For buttermilk fried chicken, well, there are a few stages that need to be taken care of. The first one is to dry marinate pieces of chicken. For that, I have of course taken boneless chicken breast, cut it into thin strips. You could cut these into thick strips, you can cut these into chunks, nuggets, absolutely a personal choice. First things first, I am adding in salt as required. And remember, that's the only stage while we are adding salt to the recipe, so salt it well. The next step is to add in some chilli powder. Well, in this case, you could use cayenne pepper, you could use uh, any pepper of your choice, but I personally feel chilli does its trick. Again, as spicy as you want. I'm not spicing it too much. I'm keeping it absolutely neutral. Another spice that I personally prefer in buttermilk fried chicken are cumin seeds. Well, cumin seeds need to be nicely roasted and powdered absolutely finely. That's your rub. Mix this well. Well, this one technically is known as a dry rub and it's very essential while making buttermilk fried chicken. Well, you can add in herbs of your choice, you can add in oregano or thyme because these two particularly go very well with fried chicken. On that note, let's keep this aside and move into the next step and that is making a batter using buttermilk or curds. Let's begin. The first thing of course is some curds. Well, you would have also come across words like whey marinated chicken. That's nothing but the water of the curds or the yogurt. So as simple as that. The next step is to crack in an egg. A touch of pepper. And that's about it. You don't need salt at this stage because salt is already been added to the chicken. Let's mix all of this well. The yogurt and egg mixture is done and ready. The next step is to add in your dry rub marinated chicken pieces into this. One quick mix. And your chicken pieces need to be kept marinated like so for at least 7 to 8 hours refrigerated. Well, if not, 30 minutes is also good enough. It's roughly been half an hour and the chicken is marinated and ready. The next step is crumbing the chicken and frying that. For frying, of course, we need oil. So let's move on to that step. Well, rice bran oil has high smoking point and that makes it the perfect oil to be used for all cooking processes, especially frying. And that's the reason why I'm using Imami Healthy and Tasty Rice Bran Oil. While the oil is heating up in the pan, let's move on to the next step and that is crumbing the chicken. Well, I'm making it absolutely simple and easy for you to understand. What I'm doing is into the marinating chicken, I'm adding in a spoonful of refined flour so that it kind of becomes a batter which coats onto the chicken. Let's mix this well. What I'm doing next is adding in breadcrumbs into a plate. Let's move on to the next step and that is like I said is crumbing the chicken. As simple as this. You pick up the strips of chicken and dab these into the breadcrumbs. Dab this, flip this over and with this your breaded chicken is done and ready. Shake this a little, ensure that the excess breadcrumbs fall off and place this in a plate. Similarly, let's start crumbing all the strips of chicken. With this, our chicken is crumbed and ready. The next step is to keep this in the fridge for precisely 15 minutes or in the freezer for later use. Quality and temperature of oil are two essentials while frying. And that's the reason why I'm using Imami Healthy and Tasty rice pan oil because like I said earlier, the smoke point is absolutely high. Fry this and this is going to take somewhere around 4 to 5 minutes on medium to high flame. One note of caution while frying is just ensure that the pan is not overcrowded.
With this, our crisp, juicy and tender buttermilk fried chicken is done and ready. And trust me, this is super easy and can be done just in three steps. So this weekend, try this recipe for your family and friends and do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get carried.